Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome to another Mandate of Heaven preview video. Today we'll be covering the faction led by Lu Zhi, the respected mentor. Uh, his starting situation is very hard because as you can see, he starts on the front line against the Yellow Turban Brothers and his uh, strategist. And his only background bonus uh, is plus 10% character experience. Uh, it's not a very strong uh, background bonus at all, but you just have to deal with it. Um, his faction specialization uh, is the Great Library. This is very similar to Prince Liu Chong's uh, trophy cabinet. The Great Library here collects great works and books from across the empire instead of banners and items uh, for Prince Liu Chong. And you can place these books on display similar to the trophy cabinet and they will have unique effects boosting your uh, faction. And there's also sets, which is something that's not available for the trophy cabinet. Uh, we'll get into it once we jump into game. The playstyle focus for Lu Zhi is uh, scholarship and teaching, and unique features include two unique units, uh, the Defender of the Empire and the Destroyers of Treachery, available to you at level 3 and level 6. Uh, these Defenders of Empire are unbreakable shield units that are excellent against missile defense. Uh, we'll take a look at their stat once we jump into game, and the Destroyers of Treachery are Shock Cavalry. Uh, that have good charge and more importantly splash damage which is the first time we have splash damage on uh, cavalry units previously for the yellow turban units we had uh, a unit that had splash damage using a giant mace um, it could be a little counterintuitive for shock cavalry because most of your damage comes off charges and you don't want them to have prolonged uh, melee combat with the enemy but perhaps this will change um, to the very least, it will let you wipe out those archery unit faster. You get a nice charge damage through, and then you slap them a couple times with splash attack, and then you get out of there. Uh, other than that, you have a teaching assignment that's unique to yourself. It increases experience for all unit in local commandery, as well as all characters in adjacent commandery as well. Uh, the effect is a little bit different. I think the local commandery effect is a little bit uh, stronger than the adjacent commandery effect. We can also look at this in the game. And once again, we are a governor faction, so we cannot uh, become emperor. Um, this is quite similar to the base game. And we do start with a noteworthy character, uh, Huang Fu Song. Uh, he was in the base game as well. He started out as the leader of the Han Empire faction. He's a very noteworthy general uh, during this time period. And both of them were very instrumental in defeating the Yellow Turbans for the Han Empire. And he is a sentinel, he has his own unique model, modest and store. We'll take a look at his stats as well. Uh, he's a very uh, well-built character, uh, very similar to uh, Tai Shi Ci. So uh, with that said, uh, we are once again doing Legendary Legendary 40 minutes, and let's just jump in here. All right, we're loaded up in here, uh, an attentive attendant. Uh, we don't have much to do. We had to collect great books uh, for the Great Library and help the Empire put down rebellion. And if we jump in here, uh, first mission is to fight off a yellow turban group, uh, Yuan Xiang. Uh, once for, for the first time, it's not Shen Shi uh, because it's not Luder. Uh, Yuan Xiang is going to represent the yellow turbans. And the reward is we get uh, Dong Guan Han Ji. Um, this is a book uh, that records the running history of the Han uh, dynasty. Uh, it's commissioned by the Han Empire. Uh, and the place where they compile this history is a location called Dongguan, so that's why it's called Dongguan Hanji. Um, we can take a look at his uh, books. Uh, this is his great library, and there are a total of, I believe, 20 books? Yeah, 776. 20 books, uh, similar to the 20 trophies available for the trophy cabinet. Uh, and uh, there are basically a lot of classical works, uh, some very famous ones for Western audience like The Art of War, and others like this one is Chu uh, Ci. It's more of um, uh, epic poetry, odes, um, more romantic stuff, um, basically ancient literature. Uh, not all of these are going to be um, relevant, and I don't think I want to waste too much time for this purpose of previewing the faction to discuss uh, each one and honestly I don't know all of them and I do have to uh, look up a bunch of them. Uh, some I do know like Huangdi Neijing, this is a medical book, um, others I don't know. Um, 
左转 OK. Anyways,、uh, basically you can look at them similar to how you look at trophy cabinets. You can see how you unlock them on the bottom. For example, this one have ten characters in your faction, and we get the discourses on salt、uh, and iron. And you equip it here in your great library, and you get plus ten percent income from industry faction wide. Additionally, books are considered sets. There are five sets of four books. And each set is based on the five elements、uh, stats that's given in the game. Like this book is part of the expertise set, along with、uh, 楚辞黄帝内经 and 南京 Um, so if you collect all four and display all four of them at the same time, you get an additional effect. Um, I don't know what the additional effect is. Uh, unfortunately for the UI, I can't see it. Um, so it would be a surprise for us all, uh, when we do complete one. Um. It's kind of a draw mystery, maybe a reason why we will try to play Lu Zhi.、Um, some of these are very interesting. So, for example, Chu Ci over here, it asks you to own a silk resource. So perhaps this could be a migration strategy where you abandon the battlefront and you migrate all the way out west、uh, to take care of the Liang Rebellion.、Uh, who knows? You know, you have a lot of freedom here, and your reward is a hundred percent character experience faction Y, which is huge. And it's not a very hard、uh, mission. Owning a silk resource out west is not super difficult.、Um, I believe there are unclaimed ones,、um, even. And let's see if that's actually true. That's one silk. That's one silk. And Hanzhong is one silk. So they're all claimed. I lied.、Uh, but once the rebellions start,、uh, some of these will turn over to、uh, Beigong Boyu, and we can definitely take those、uh, from that time.、Um, Outside of that, we don't have any faction resource bars.、Uh, Liu Chong had the fortitude and the trophy cabinet. We simply just have our great library, and that's okay.、Uh, Ancillary item: we got a couple weapons and a scholar.、Uh, scholar is very fitting for us, and we're gonna pop that on. Add increase our、um, experience gain, but it's also kind of unfortunate that our You know, entire background bonus is just ten percent character experience. Feels kind of weak, to be honest, because you know, a scholar gives the same effect as our entire faction bonus. That just feels a little, you know, a little weak.、Uh, our armor only gives fifteen cunning,、uh, and、uh, we can just keep the sword. Gives a little expertise, and it seems like every faction starts out with a stone pig. At least, all the ones recently have stone pig、uh, equipped. We're gonna give it to him. Because Huang Fu Song here starts out with a legendary bow,、uh, the Huang Fu Song's bow,、um, plus ten percent ammo, ten、uh, expertise, very similar to、uh, Prince Liu Chong's crossbow, ten percent、uh, ammo boost.、Uh, that one also boosts ten percent ten cunning. This one's expertise because he's a sentinel, I guess.、Um, cunning would make more sense. But if you look at his skills, right here in the middle is the famous Hail of Arrows. Uh, unfortunately, you start the game at level one, but once you get to level two, three, four, you can easily pick this one up, and、uh, it allow you to、uh, blast off shotgun shots at enemy units. This is pretty much game changing, and the reason why Gan Ning and Tai Shi Ci are broken in the base game.、Uh, we can equip some weapons for us. And that's about it. We don't have much item, and his armor is also very simple. Fifteen expertise,、uh, nothing too fancy here.、Uh, he is cautious, dutiful, honorable. Okay, boring, boring, boring. Scholarly, so more experience, and spy. Okay, so nothing too flashy about traits or the characters themselves.、Uh, in our court, let's see who else do we get? Fu Xi,、uh, destroyer of rebels. Sure, perceptive. Zhong Yuan and Zuri leader. Okay, so we get some unique background characters,、um, which is nice.、Uh, Ma Mi Di, counselor, rich. Okay, five percent income from commerce. Okay, so it seems like all our characters are semi-unique characters. That's very interesting. Okay, so at least everyone has a semi-unique background. Gets a little bit of extra stats. Uh, no one's happy because we're playing a legendary, and that minus ten satisfaction is gonna hurt.、Uh, but doesn't matter. Let's jump into the battle and get a look at some of our units. So we're just gonna pop in here. 
All right, we're loaded up in here. Surprisingly, the enemy units are over there. Are they trying to use the tree line? Uh, anyways, so we have both of our unique unit uh, in the army. These are unbreakable uh, heavy spear infantry. So basically tons of armor, 45% similar to spear guard damage, same, same as spear guard, 27, 23. Um, basically heavily armored versions of the spear guard with unbreakable not bad uh destroyer of treachery let's see splash attack uh don't know how it works but we can try it individuals in this unit swing the weapon in wide arc and thus able to hit multiple foes at once i think it's just similar to when a general uh runs into a unit and does a swipe um i, th I believe that's how i understand it very good charge damage 226 these uh i mean it's not super super high i seen higher ones but uh, it's not bad. Uh, attack speed is okay. And uh, heavy melee damage. Okay, so armor piercing damage, heavy. I wonder if you put these guys on like a sentinel general and you boost the melee attack rate, would they benefit more because they have a splash attack on their uh, base attack? That's a question worth asking. Uh, anyways, we are going to be just running over the enemy. I don't think I want to duel. I think I just want to snipe him with our bow. And then run over everyone with our cavalry. Uh, we'll wait. This one reduces too much speed. We'll get into a better position and then go into these uh, wedge. Mm, we're also going to tilt this way. So I don't shoot through trees. We didn't take a look at his skill tree. Uh, I'll do that after we leave um, this battlefield. And also, um, about the books, I'm going to do a separate lore series once I can breathe. I've uh, been doing a lot of these preview videos and continuing the Don't Draw campaign. It's been a handful, and I'm still going to uh, come out with a Fall of the Han uh, lore series very very soon it's almost ready um, and we're going to continue that one as well so once the game gets released and I have some time I'm going to do a full lore series on all 20 of his books just if you guys are interested what the book are actually are he doesn't have much ammo that's the sad thing alright we gotta draw their attention to the front and then get a nice Rear charge. He's not even getting hit. The accuracy on this. Oh wow, we ran out of ammo. Okay. Let's see how the splash damage work. Holy. I mean, I don't see the splash damage much, but we're killing them really, really fast. Let's see, there's a group of them. I mean, I just assume we do more damage because we can hit multiple targets. We can break the formation now. That way they go a little faster when you chase. We could duel him. Nah, he's routing. It's fine. We'll try to capture him and release for extra gold. Alrighty. Let's see if we captured him. Yes, we did. So, extra 100 gold here. Yeah, these cavalry are really good. Alright, so we got our Dongguan Hanji. Um, and let's see what else. Written in stone. In uncertain time, preparation for military action is prudent, as are the preservation of things held close to our hearts. The things that make us who we are as individuals as well as a society should be kept for all time. The same teaching can thus be learned by the generation that follows. Okay, so they're just saying we're transcribing texts onto stone. Uh, these stone pieces are still existed in museums in China today. Um, they have uh, a big collection of these stones, I think, in Xi'an um, of uh, Confucius teachings that are government approved during the Han Dynasty. Um, interesting, but kind of boring. Just big rocks with carvings on them. 
Um, defeat. Oh, equip it, and then we get replenishment. Sure. Uh, let's see what the effect of this text is. Okay, so we got this one. How do we get this one? We got Huang Di Nei as well. Okay, that's fine. I don't know how we got it, but we probably got it from. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't say once you get it. It just says completing a mission. But I don't mind. Let's put this one on for this mission. Uh, reach a faction rank of noble. Recognition under heaven. The general of the gentlemen of the household of the north. That's a long sentence, but okay. Uh, plus 10 public order. Sure thing. We can equip the other book as well uh, for the replenishment boost. And uh, let's see, these are what? These are part of which sets? Expertise, authority. So they're not the same uh, set. This one doesn't actually help us. Melee cavalry armor. We don't actually have any melee cavalry. Um, fully upgrade a city, hire five generals. Fight alongside another faction. That doesn't seem hard. Reach rank 10 faction leader. Okay. Travel to Anding. Yeah, some of these are very interesting. This encourage you to go west. Uh, win an ambush battle. Have a wound healed. So we have to get like injured through an event or uh, get knocked out in a fight, I guess. Uh, have 10 characters in your faction. Have income exceeding 3,000. I think I can do this. Uh, 10 million population. Unlikely. 5 trade route. 10 food. That doesn't seem hard either, but the bonus is really bad. This one's simple. We can get a uh, wood general in our army very easily. Wood generals are champions. Uh, perform undercover network action. Okay. Anyways, let's see. We are on the front lines against the enemy, and they are strong. Uh, Liu Bei is over here. We have Henei farmland, Henei small city. It has a harbor. Hmm. I don't think we need state workshop, to be honest. My idea when approaching this campaign, just without knowing any of the missions that's coming up, is that we should just defend. Uh, we should wait till the uh, rebellion happens before we overcommit, uh, because. Uh, the Yellow Turban is going to be occupying this huge region. If we try to expand anywhere and be aggressive, what will happen is we're just going to overstretch our boundary and uh, we're going to get smashed because uh, we can't be everywhere at once. We don't have the uh, econ for it. Um, so most likely I'm going to try to eventually abandon the farmland and knock off one of these huge stacks. Uh, they're going to get like a full stack uh, by Zhang Liang and Zhang Bao. Once we knock one out, we can try to continue destroying their factions. But before then, I think I'm just going to hover back. I'm going to keep all the units. They seem fun. And we're going to just demolish this one because I think I want to build a tax collection building here. And we're going to be self-sufficient with food just with our harbor building. Uh, we don't really need the farmland for the excess food. Mm. Small city build. So for the city build, we need six food. If we keep it to here, it's five food. But this one's better econ, three food. So we should probably just use a combination of land development and so commerce plus peasantry. And this is the teaching assignment. So for a local commandery, um, character experience 100%. For a Jason commandery, 50%. Uh, we're not going to use that um, right now. Probably going to use one of these for the 75% on 40. Hmm, it's not very high, but can't do much about it. He's also unhappy, so let's get him working here. There's our wood general if we want to put him in the army. Hmm. But we probably want more cavalry. 
I don't know, it's awkward to have this cavalry unit on your strategist, but that's the way things are. Hmm, I think we're going to demolish this. Tax collection seems to be the way to go in my mind. I'm going to upgrade this. And that should be it. If we can get a trade route, it would be great. We have two trade available. Liu Bei can trade with us? Oh, he starts out with land. Right. This isn't the... When you play as Liu Bei, you don't have any land. But when uh, you play as anyone else, there there is land for you. Uh, preferably someone who won't get destroyed. Someone who's safe. Like Liu Bao, for example, and Tao Tian. I wish there's a way for you to see the ranking of the cash values. Well, Tao Tian's pretty nice. Uh, we can also look at items, right? Well, I'm just going to give him 0.3. And then we can get another one. Liu Bao is also safe. 3.1. Very generous, my man. Discourse of the state. Very useful late game. Not so much early game. We'll just ask him for some payment back. He's also very generous in regard to payment. 88. Yep. Alright, so this seems very nice. Okay. We can also get money from these if you want to, right? You can ask them for cash. Yeah, there's a lot of way to cheese out some income here. The way the empire works here is like, I feel like you can easily get a lot of deals done early on. Oh, that's actually not, he's not at his limit. Okay. All right, that's too much. 19. Seven, six, there we go. That's a lot of gold, to be honest. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you can get a bunch of gold this way. I can probably get it to 3,000 on turn one for this. Which, which one? This one. Let's try that. Not aggression pack, just Ma Tung. Wait, we lost one. Yeah, High Empire and Liu Bei. Now, how rich are you, though? You are a poor kid. Yep. We still want per turn payment, though. Hmm, shame. Shame that Liu Bei is such a poor kid. 28. Nope, 27. <laughs> High Empire should be loaded. But they're not willing to pay us anything. Okay, that's fine. We can also sell this farmland to the High Empire. But I doubt we get 900 gold for that, so maybe not. We just need to get another trade route next turn when we get um, reform. Mm. Yeah, nothing else. I think we're good. Uh, let's continue. Okay, so we're not getting any new missions. That's interesting. Xun Yu. Hmm. We do want him. But that's more gold out of the window. It's interesting because I... Hmm, if I really want the 3,000, I can get rid of these. Because it doesn't really make sense for him to be on Lu Zhi. We should have him with range units. Siege weapons, you know. And we can fire some of these generals, to be honest. But let's not do anything too big. It's okay. We don't have to get the book. It's not a really serious playthrough. We're going to grab him. Brand officer, very useful. We can pop him onto the field just as a separate army. Um, we don't have to do that right now. I do want to rush this. Because I don't want this slot empty for too long. Alright, let's rush this and tax collection here. 
It should also help contain Fever. We can get another trade route up. Um, we do get the school reform in the beginning. That's very nice. All right, who's loaded? 300, 318. All right, and you're in a very safe location. Are you generous? No, you're not. That's fine. No, you don't like that. Uh, we could give him food. That's something we do have extra. But maybe not. Maybe we'll just take a little bit of money. Alright. And the reason why we have that extra trade route is because we have judgment. Um, do we have any different... Oh, we do have a different reform, uh, different skill. Turning the tide. Uh, enemy Enable if enemy unit routing in range. Upon nearby enemy routing. So we get a morale bonus if we route an enemy unit. Not only, uh, not only morale. We get morale, melee damage, range damage. So I think the idea is focus fire down one unit, right? All we need is one unit routing. Right, if we get our cavalry charging at one weak unit, all our other unit gets stronger. That's an interesting play style. We need two more levels to get to it though, level five. Uh, but it also took the place of Wisdom of the River, which is actually a really good skill. Um, so it's a little shame we lost that one, but this one's passive. So this one, interesting style. We should try this one too. Lutri is intriguing, I have to say. Um, but I still favor Prince Leotron a little bit more. Um, I feel like we're going to need an army because they are at war with us. And even though we're in the city, I'm not sure if we can beat that. So I'm going to pull out a wood general for our uh, mission. I'm not sure if I want to give him Z militias though. We do have a solid front line already. And these, maybe they can protect the flank? He doesn't have trust yet for the extra armor, so it doesn't really have a bonus there. We don't have night battle, but we do have precision. So I think we're just going to spam archers again. We're going to give him a siege weapon and then spam archers. Yeah, I think that's the way to go here. And that's it. Honestly though, these two units, super pricey. If I was playing for real, I think I would have disbanded these already. Um, anything else? We should probably recruit him onto the field soon too, as a separate army, just a detachment for the debuff. Oh, we can't. We're limited in our number of armies. And we're limited on Teal Second Marquis. Okay, let's gotta wait for that. Other than that, I think we're fine. We're just waiting for the rebellion to start. Let's continue. All right, John Ball, John Ball, join the war. Sure. We're not getting any missions, which I feel is super weird. And there's no one for us to really fight unless we really want to take on John Ball, who is the defensive wizard. Um. Uh, interesting. I think I'm going to give him archers as well. We have enough front line and cavalry unit. They're just cheap and efficient. Don't judge me. Let's continue. Alright, still nothing happening. Zhou Tai. Mm. Ooh, plus six. This is going to help. We're going to use this instead. Satisfaction is a big issue on Legendary difficulty. We're going to give him this just for the cunning. And we're going to actually... We can't recruit another army, but we're going to just use the tax collection building as our means of free income boost, basically. Mm. I should have him do the assignments to give him a couple of levels, to be honest. We should switch this guy out. 
since we can't recruit him on the field we might as well yeah these journals are weird we have one army limit so uh we don't have a lot of assignment slots because we have a strategist as our leader so i think on real playthrough my recommendation is actually to fire these guys in the beginning uh, they're not going to be very helpful for us um other than that uh, let's just continue here. Surprisingly, no missions. Graffiti. Okay, still no mission. Eavesdropper. Oh, we can give him the weapon. That's right. Luger can actually drop the pig. Give it to him. He'll be happier too. All right, we're going to let him take over here. Let's continue. All right. Don't join John Allen declare war. Okay. Tai Shi Tsi. Why not? Why not let us have both of the Hell of Arrow characters? All we're missing is Gan Ying. Uh... Too bad we can't really put him into this army. We could. We could just get rid of him. We can run. We can run double uh, Sentinel plus a Strategist. It's basically triple precision for thirty percent extra um, range armor piercing damage. It's not a bad idea. It's like pretty hardcore for um, range crossbow units, but it's not that effective for Luger, whose faction unique units are cavalry and uh, spearmen. Hmm. Okay. We'll give this to him. Continue our staring contest with uh, John Out over there. How mad is he? Okay, he's going to go down to five. That's fine. Alright, so spring season. Liu Chong has declared war. We could get ourselves a wife. But if we're getting ourselves a wife, I want to... Uh, I want a commander wife. We need the leadership bonuses for the heir. Alright, we max out the level for this unless we get a reform for it. Which we can, or we can get another trade route. Which might be more lucrative for us. If we go this route, we're only getting one level of the building. If we go this route, we get a trade route. Probably going trade. Probably trying to go to aim for Onyx Dragon plus Imperial Crossbowman. Three oh four. It's Halsung. Let's do it. Why you? Generous. You are a loaded, corrupt official, who is stingy with his cash. Ooh. But doesn't have anyone in his faction who could use a silver seat. That's too expensive. Um, not stingy with cash up front. Let's just pay me a bunch then. Definitely a hoarder. There we go. All right, since we didn't go with the upgrade here, what we're going to do is actually upgrade this. Uh, extra food, extra commerce income for the assignment boost as well. And we're just going to stare it one more time because we're going to get the rebellion started next turn. Finally, we get a mission. Okay. So it seems like we don't get missions until the actual rebellion happens in the summer of 184. We just have to beat an army by Zhang Bao for some recruitment. Uh, replenishment bonus. They still haven't fixed the background for some of these. Well, they didn't have a chance because we're still on the same build. Alright, the war started. So now the entire empire is against uh, in the war with them. Before it was just us. So I guess it makes sense we didn't have to really move before then. Um, what I want to do is actually I want to sell this to Liu Bei. I don't want to be tasked with defending and losing it. I'd rather get some value out of it. It's also a drain on our economy. Right, see, he loves it. Uh, that's uh, ooh, that's not that bad, actually. I don't think we'll get any good money payment from him. He is poor kid. So we'll take it. 
We'll take his silver armor. It'd be 9.4. Oh, 7.9. Hmm. Uh, because... Worth 6.6. .6. Anyways. We'll get cash payment. He's just been stacking cash too. Uh, I see why the legendary weapons auto-equip in our Liu Bei preview. Because if they just appear in his inventory on the winter turn, then any faction can actually trade for it. And that'll be kind of broken. Yeah, Liu Bei really needed the food. He's at Pingyuan without any food income. Alright, so our income is actually going to go up when we lose that. Uh, our food is fine because we already have a harbor. And we just sit pretty because Zhang Bao is over there. I need to get this army out of our sight first. Alright. Huang Shao has done his damage. Alright, he leveled up. Get Flaming Shot on this. Uh, what else is there to do? I mean, we could build up a force to go attack him, but his army is no joke. Look at these guys. So many shields. Our, our archers are really not good against these. We can build like a real army. Hmm. I don't know. I still want to fight a defensive battle against Drown Out or wait till he go attack someone else and then we can just steal the farmland. Yeah, I should have fired these guys a long time ago, but let's just keep going. I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, Lowry Rebellion happened. Seriously, nothing is going on. He just... I mean, what if we... Alright, I'm going to try be active. What if we disappear from the map? Does he attack us? Let's continue and see. Okay, our ambush failed, but he finally moved out. So we finally get this fight. It's an open field. It's not the fight I was looking for. Um, but we get the garrison as reinforcement, so that helps. So finally we get some action. Let's fight this battle out. Alright, we're loaded up in here. Uh, big fight. Uh, they're very strong. As I said, they have some really strong units. And John Al's no joke. He's level 4. He's uh, stronger than all our generals. Um... Way of War. Looks like a um, hmm. mix of Tenacity of Steel and the other ability that Zhao Yun has. So more damage and more evasion. So very hard to kill him. Below 20 health also give morale and armor bonus. I don't know how we're going to kill this guy. Okay, these guys are no joke either. Uh, Bo Cai. Bo Cai is a pretty famous general too. Recovery, Disorient. Yeah, so they're tough. They're very tough. Tyrant Slayer are general killers. And uh, they don't have much range. That's the only thing I can be thankful for. Mm. We have Tribuchet, so they have to come towards us. Uh, not Tribuchet. We have a Bolt uh, thingy. Mm, I don't like this tree here, but I really can't find a better spot for us, unless we just want to be super aggressive and up in their face about it. Yeah, I think we're going to be on this uh, valley incline here, and just fight them from the backside here. Or we could, hmm, could we do this? No, then most of them will flood in from the forest. Alright, we're going to... Go this route and probably pull everyone back at the beginning. So we create some more distance. Our cavalry has to be our trump card. We have to hide them. They're not very good against most of their spear units. Look how many spear units they have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have to hide them until we get a good charge. So we're going to hide these guys somewhere in the forest here. And we're going to pull our units to the plains over here. Closer to our reinforcements anyways. Um, let's grab all of them actually. Alright. 
Let's start. Let's run. We're gonna run to here. Let's see, we do get a cavalry, we do get a spear, we get two spear guards, okay. I like this group. Let's call these guys four. Pow them on here. Archer, 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 archer. Real archers, militia archers. Uh, let's pull them behind this group of spear units. Z militia will guard the flanks. These guys will sit behind them. And generals will be ready here. He will also help us guard the flank, something like this, in reserve. Uh, we'll hide this cavalry here. Maybe he can kill some archers or bother a general or something like that. These guys, maybe here be better. That can better protect them. And that's it. We're going to get these guys off uh, skirmish mode. Alright, I'll cut till when they get closer. See you guys then. Okay guys, we're back because we have a small problem. They're not moving. Um, that's a s not only a small problem, that's a big problem. So we have to move our entire formation up. Hmm. That's extremely unfortunate. Can we lure them over? Hmm. This is awkward. Well, I quite like what we have here. We can just call these three temporarily. We can lock the formation, just move them over here. I mean, it's not an issue, it's just... Hmm. Actually, it is an issue. We're fighting downhill already. I'm gonna probably have to move these guys over here. Oh, they're starting to move. Alright, alright, maybe not. Don't, don't move. Stay, 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 stay. Stay hidden. Are they shifting or are they moving? I think they're only shifting. They think they think they're getting flanked. So that's why they're shifting. How come they're not attacking us? We have a siege weapon. Do these not count as like the incentivized siege weapon to get you to move towards us? Then I guess trebuchets are still a lot better then. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Well, we learned something. Now it's just, we have to wait for everything to get into place. And I think we're on offense too. Not sure, failed ambush? I'm not sure who's on offense. It should be us, that's why they're so passive. So we have to get them to fight us. Will they fight us? Not sure. They're not even sending their archers up. So patient, my gosh. Okay, we only have 400 range on this guy. All right, while we wait, let's talk about story time. So Lu Zhi, all right, let's talk about Lu Zhi a little bit. Lu Zhi's family is from the northeast corner of China. Um, that's why in the base game when we started, he starts. That's why he teaches Gong Sun Zan and Liu Bei to begin with, because that's where they're from. And after Lu Zhi's um, uh, Three Kingdom period, not Lu Zhi himself, but his clan, the Lu clan, uh, actually moved into Korea and um, had descendants that were very uh, noteworthy in Korea history, uh, including one of the first um, South Korean presidents come from his clan. Uh, random trivia of the day. Uh, this is, I don't know, super curious why they're not responding to our range uh, 
siege weapon. Maybe this doesn't count. Maybe we needed to buy a trebuchet instead. Well, we can just move this group again. Because our range is not enough. I can't believe it. We spent like 15 turns staring at each other in the staring contest. And the second we get into a battle with him, finally luring him out, we're back into a staring contest where the AI just would not budge. I mean, honestly, we're not going to beat them like this. They have much stronger unit. We need to out-kite them really hard to win this fight. Hmm. That's their weakest unit. He has one of it. Alright, I'm gonna move these guys out. I'm gonna move them here. Just wanna give them a little bit of threat here. I wanna see how their formation changes. Alright, they're shifting. But how are they shifting? Are oh, they splitting apart? Okay, that's good. We need to hit. We need to split them. Alright, we need to move up. What is this? This Why is this guy moving up so much more than the rest? Alright, once we get into range, I hope they charge. Finally in range. We have 17 shots. We'll fire one off once we get into position. Alright, let's see what we can do. Are you going to just stand here and take it? Or are you going to actually come after us? fire no are you serious is this because ele elevations higher there can we do something like this this is doable do we have to get closer uh can you hit anything Ah, uh, I am very mad. We'll just have to get closer then. They're still not coming. We're still firing up an incline. Is it because we're firing up an incline that we can't hit them? Not sure. How about now? Well, they're cranking. Fire? It's got to be an incline issue. What if we get on this hill here? And then we just shift the entire formation over to accommodate that. Alright, let's get this part through. Alright, the verdict's in. Tribuche is better. And John Allen is a patient man. 
a super, super patient man. Ooh, ooh. Oh, they're just shifting. I thought they would be charging. Hmm. Bummer. Alright, let's try again. We're on the incline now. Uh, see? Now we have an arc. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Can we hit that? Oh my god, you useless fire? Um, can you hit anything? If I just let you auto fire, do you hit something? Do we have to go on that hill? That kind of defeats the purpose of your range. Alright, we're gonna move everyone up a little bit. We're gonna move him on this hilly part and then put all the infantry on the less hilly part to see if he can fire now after that point uh, well we're hidden they can't really do much about these two units Alright, how about now? Alright, four arcs. Looks like we finally got the angle. Please fire. There we go. Alright. Now we got the enemy moving. Okay, let's see if we can win this fight. I'm trying to knock down their elite unit here. Alright, still gotta hit them where it's dense. Ooh, ooh. They're going out, okay. Oh, they're charging forward. Uh, yes. Yes. Holy, they got fire arrows. Actually, let's just, um, auto fire. Give the buff. We'll use this one. Come over here. Alright, we looped around that guy. Time to charge that guy. One each. Alright, their cavalry is on this side. Charge out. Alright, hold. These front lines are pretty solid. The side's a little weak. Alright. Cavalry need to hurry. I think they can win. Where's the where's the enemy cavalry? Guys, keep an eye on that. All right, pull out before they come after us. We need to charge back towards the front line. We can try to kill him, but I think we should just ignore him. We don't want him to stack this. All right, the left flank is a little weak here. Archers got knocked out by enemy archers. Where's the cavalry? Alright, it's coming. Let's try and look for angle. Once we kill these two generals, the morale should collapse for most of them. Alright. 
Now we can save us. Come on. There we go. We're going to win both of the duels as well. Alright, this part collapsed. Alright, pull him out. Pull him out. Pull him out. Nice. Come over here. Give them a melee. Oh, actually, get on your horse. Get on your horse. Hey on, hold on here. Melee evasion debuff. Get on the horse. Come over here. Uh, six. Hunt down them. Five. Get ready for another charge over here. Alright. Hey in here. Come over. Alright, get another charge. Alright, pull them out. Collapse on them. Get a nice angle. There we go. Now we don't want to tangle too much. We'll pull out by charging at them. Ooh, Huang Fu Song got knocked out. Ooh, by the cavalry. Crap. Our other general also got killed by that cavalry. Hmm. Was not microing them. Okay. That's fine though. I think we have the front line pretty much contained. No, no, no. Come back here. Most of our guys have rallied back. Make sure they can't. Well, actually, the range unit's got them. We guys got to kill these guys. They have good morale. Alright. Make sure Ludra doesn't die. Go get him. Man, it's really hard to kill these guys. Can we get them? We're not doing enough. We're tired. Our charge is not that effective anymore. Alright, time to engage into melee combat here. Everyone needs to help. Alright, get into wedge if you can. Let's route this one first. There we go. Okay, we pulled it out, I think. Alright, make sure John doesn't escape. Break the wedge for extra speed. Chase him down. Whew, tough fight. Um, I'm gonna chase him down, cut it, cut it to the end. See you guys then. Alrighty. Wasn't an easy fight, but we did it. We lost our wood general. I wasn't careful. I wasn't looking at what their Tyrant Slayer was doing. 
All right, but the good news of his death is we can summon Taishu Tzu for free. Or else his retinue, look at that. There's no way we can afford that. So can I say all planned? But not really. Um, we got two new books. Uh, winning a battle. Oh, so okay. So they do display uh, the conditions. So we got this one uh, based on the first mission, and we got this one by completing any mission, I think. Huang Di Neijing, so Zuo Zhuan. We got this one having a wood general. Let's pop that in. We got the three strategies of Huang Shi Gong uh, by winning an ambush battle. Even though it's a failed ambush, 10% speed for shock cavalry, that's very helpful. So Huang Shi Gong uh, is the Duke of the Yellow Rock. So this is the uh, Chinese name of, I mean, they, they put the Chinese characters uh, Pinyin for uh, Duke of Yellow Rock, uh, but still the same book, the three strategies of the Huang Shi Gong. Um, so yeah, uh, these are what these are: instinct, authority, resolve, and expertise. So we don't have a set, uh, but we do have one of each almost. We have a level up here on Lu Zhi. Uh, we're gonna get Night Battle. And we're gonna basically make him a range comp as well. So as you can see, um, Zhang Liang only has one commandery, right? He was basically in a staring contest with us this whole time. We can easily go wipe him out like this. Right, we night battle the garrison and then we delegate the fight or we can fight it on the field, but doesn't doesn't matter. Um, yeah, let's do this. Right, uh, we'll pick income. Right, we'll pick And uh, we wipe out his entire faction. We could have fought this better, uh, you know, we could have fought and reduced casualties, but I think we're coming to a close for this preview, so we're just going to delegate away here. So one of the brothers is dead. Not so hard. Prince Liu Chong, all the way over here. Hmm. Anyways, so you see, that staring contest paid off at the end. We waited till we wiped out his main army, then we just counterattack, and we wiped him out. And now we just have to kill the two other brothers. Um, so that's the game here. Um, Lu Zhi is interesting. I like the books just because I like the history behind the books. Um, I'm curious about what the set bonuses are. The faction's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, you have experience bonus, uh, so I guess character level will be high. But I don't really see that many ways to make your character happy. So higher level on legendary difficulty could create a lot of satisfaction issues. Uh, you are starting right on the battlefront. So I don't recommend you going off too aggressive. And because the first battle against Zhang Liang is uh, more heavily against spear units, so maybe not so many archers and definitely trebuchet this is such a headache um even looking at this army right here most of the comp is not cavalry since you're not fighting against looters you don't need that many d militia uh you should probably go with uh more siege weapons to be honest um against those shield units overall uh once i think once you get rolling it shouldn't be too hard uh, but you're stuck as a governor so you can't go for the emperor seat you kind of have to just help Liu Hong keep his seat I guess by wiping out the three kingdoms when that time comes but yeah um, overall um, pretty good faction I guess not super interesting but uh, still enjoyable since we do have two generals capable of doing hail of arrows uh, since he started out with that we could have just cleanly beat both of those armies just by letting him sp uh, spam this hail of arrow at them Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this preview, and uh, we'll come back tonight with another faction. Uh, maybe Cao Cao. Uh, it's one of the big three that we didn't do. So, see you guys then. Bye!